Francisco. Hello, I'm Corey Graham, and this is my project for 361. Um, the project was to uh, attach a Bluetooth, um, uh, be able to use my phone, and or be able to control this robot after using it on an Arduino. Um, and just some, uh, here's a little demo of what it can do. Like if I press F, it will it'll move its legs. If it if I press the W, it'll wiggle. Um, it it has some other things also, uh, but that's using my laptop. Uh, so the first thing I had to do to actually be able to con to operate on it is I had to take off the legs, um, and then I had to take off. Once I got the legs off, I could I had to take off the chest part, which I can't put back on, because uh, this the width of the board is actually bigger than the original board. Um, and this is the original board, and there's all these parts in it. Uh, I had to actually pull all the, or I put stickers on them, or tape, so I could know what what went where in case I had to put it back together. And so. So I started putting them in into the board, like here, and each one will actually control, this one will control a motor, this controls the back I think, uh, and this no, that actually controls the leg. Uh, the green is the ground, and the red is the, the power in most of the, the motors, except for like in this one, which is the red. They're both red, I guess. <laughs> one's red and one's orange. But this one, this one controls the neck, so it can move around. So there's more motors than there are um, for motor for the motor protector on this motor shield. Uh, there's four motors right here. Um, two will control. One will control each of the legs. So that's two motors, and then one will move the head back and forth like this, which wiggles the tail. And then the other one will move and move down the. Everyone will raise the head and lower the head. Um, so I had to put a battery, uh, which is this is a 7.2 or 7.4, uh, with so that is this, so that the power or that the uh, Arduino would have more power. And I also put on a uh, a five volt regulator so that it wouldn't receive too much power. And then last of all, I had to put <clears throat> this um, this uh, Bluetooth to the to this uh, to the cords on here. And since I can't operate it without with the computer attached to it, I had to plug it. And I so how I did it was I put this blue cord connects to this blue cord, which this is just the that's just the. R T X and this is the R X for the board. So I'll just plug them in. Um, and the reason why one is the transmission, the T X is the transmission, and the R X is the receiver. And then the green one is the power, or the power, which connects to the red, which connects to the yellow. Um, there's a little more of where I actually control it with the board, or I control it with a phone, an Android phone, and that is a little bit later on. That's that will be right after uh, this part of the uh, the um, video. Um, so this is my project, and thanks for watching.